Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we'll be discussing about the different types of rotations that we have in avial trees. And these are the rotations that we do in order to make or balance the given avial tree. So before we start off with the rotations, we need to know certain things. And the first thing is that avial tree is a binary search tree. Okay, it is nothing but a binary search tree only, uh, which we are trying to balance. And then how are we knowing that whether an avial tree is a balanced tree or not? That's because of the balance factor. We are finding the balance factor for each and every node and we are understanding whether it is balanced or not. And how do we find the balance factor? So for finding the balance factor, we have this formula which is height of left subtree minus height of right subtree. And the balance factor of the node should either be minus 1, 0 or plus 1. If it is not any of these numbers, that means the given avial tree is not balanced. Now, let me show you an example of how to find a balanced factor. Uh, let me take an example. Suppose I have 3, 2. Okay, let me put only 1. And here, let me take 4 and 5. Okay, so I have uh, a tree over here. Now, this is just for an example how to find a balance factor. So, I am supposed to find the balance factor of 3 over here, the node 3. So, what I'll do, I'll follow this formula that is height of left subtree. Now, how many nodes are there in left subtree? We have one node in left subtree. So, height of left subtree is 1 minus height of right subtree. This part is the height of right subtree. And what is the height? The height is 1, 2. Okay, there are two nodes. So, the height of right subtree is 2. So 1 minus 2 which is equal to minus 1. So minus 1 is the balance factor of 3. That is node 3. And since minus 1 is one of the numbers among these 3 numbers. That means here the node uh, minus 3 is balanced. Okay. So this is how we find a balance factor. Now we will be talking about the rotations. So we have 4 different types of rotations. RR, LL, RL and LR. And these rotations we will try to discuss in detail now. Okay, so uh, let me take an example and show you how these rotations work. Uh, so now let us see our first example. I've taken this 3, 4 and 5 in my very first example. So the first thing that I'm supposed to do is find the balance factor. Uh, and if the balance factor does not lie between minus 1, 0 and plus 1, then I'm supposed to balance it. Okay, it's as simple as that. So let me find the balance factor from the bottom. So the balance factor of 5 is if you see uh, there is no left subtree or right subtree for this node 5 it is a leaf node so the balance factor will be zero okay because there's nothing on the left side or right side so it is zero now for four you can see that there is a right subtree that is five is coming on its right side and there is nothing on the left side for four so how will i find the balance factor for four the balance factor will be zero minus one because one means that is there is one node on the right side on the right subtree of four so minus 1, so minus 1 is the balance factor for 4. Similarly, for 3 you can see that height of left subtree is 0 because there is nothing on left side. But on right side we have 2 nodes that is height of right subtree is 2. So the balance factor for 3 is minus 2. So this is how you find the balance factor. Now you can see that for the node 3 the balance factor came as minus 2. Which means that now it's time we need to balance this given tree. So how are we going to balance it? So for this we need to know which type of rotation we have to do. So if you see that 4 is coming on the right side of 3 and 5 is coming on the right side of 4. So let me write R, R on their uh, path. Okay, so I'll write R over here and R on the second path also. So now you can see that there are two R's that means we have to do R a rotation. Okay, we have to do RR rotation over here because everything is coming on the right side. Now what happens in RR rotation is you need to turn your given figure, given tree in anti-clockwise direction. Okay, you need to turn the whole thing in anti-clockwise direction. This is what happens in RR rotation. So how will I turn it in anti-clockwise direction is I will take this and turn it in my anti-clockwise direction. So in that case, my 4 will be pulled up. And 3 will be coming on the left side and 5 will be coming on the right side. Okay, this is what happens. When I 
uh, turn this whole thing in anti clockwise direction 4 will be pulled up 3 on the left side 5 on the right side why am i doing anti clockwise directions because it is rr rotation and that is what we do in rr rotation so now after doing this rotation you have to check the balance factor again so balance factor of 3 is 0 and that of 5 is also 0 because if they are leaf nodes there is nothing on left or right subtree similarly for 4 the balance factor is 1 minus 1 because 1 on the left subtree 1 on the right subtree so 1 minus 1 0 now the balance factor is 0 for all the three nodes which means that this given tree is now balanced so this is how rr rotation works now let me show another example to show a different type of rotation now we have our second example over here so in this case let me write the balance factor so balance factor for 3 is 0 now that we have understood how to find balance factor let's be a little quick so the balance factor for 3 is 0 since it is leaf node balance factor for 4 will be uh, left subtree we have 1 and right subtree nothing is there for 4 so 1 minus 0 which is 1 then balance factor for 5 will be on the left subtree we had 2 as the height right subtree we don't have anything okay so 2 minus 0 which is 2 so 2 is our balance factor for 5 now we found the balance factor and we got the balance factor for 5 as 2 2 cannot be there so we have to balance it so if you see this 5 uh, 4 is coming on the left side of 5 similarly 3 is also coming on the left side of 4 so things are going on to the left side that means we have to do ll rotation okay ll rotation now you can remember things like this that in rr rotation we did anti clockwise uh, we turned the whole thing into anti clockwise direction so from the name itself you can make out that in ll rotation we'll do or we'll turn everything in the clockwise direction okay so here we will be turning this whole tree in clockwise direction so now i am going to turn this whole thing in clockwise direction now when i turn this whole thing in clockwise direction again my four gets pulled up three comes on to the left side and five gets pulled down and comes on to the right side okay so i'm going to turn this whole thing in clockwise direction this is what i get and now if i find the balance factor the balance factor is zero for all three of them which means it is balanced now let us see the next type of rotation now let us see our next example so this is our next example now let us write the balance factor for this so the balance factor for 4 we can see it is 0 since it is a leaf node the balance factor for 5 here is uh, 1 onto the left side and nothing on right side so 1 is the balance factor for this and the balance factor for 3 is now there is nothing attached onto the left side of 3 so 0 minus there are 2 nodes which are attached onto the right side of 3 so 0 minus 2 which is minus 2 minus 2 is the balance factor of 3 so like this we got our balance factor now you can see here we need to do the rotations over here so if you see first is it is going on to the right side 5 is on to the right subtree of 3 and then 4 is on to the left subtree of 5 so from this diagram itself from this tree itself you can make out that we have to do rl rotation over here okay just go by this sequence we have to do rl rotation over here now whenever we have to do rl rotation it means we have to do two types of rotations over here the first rotation is ll rotation and the second rotation is rr rotation okay we need to do these two rotations separately over here now we know that in ll rotation we turn the whole thing in clockwise direction and in RR rotation, we turn the whole thing in anti-clockwise direction. So the first and foremost step will be that I'll be taking this part. Okay. And I'm going to turn that whole thing. I'm going to perform LL rotation, which is turning the whole thing in clockwise direction. So let me just turn this whole thing in clockwise direction. So when I do that, what am I going to get? 3 and then 4 gets attached over here and 5 comes over here okay because i turned this whole thing in clockwise direction right i turn that whole thing in clockwise direction so 4 gets attached to 3 and 5 will be coming down so this is my ll rotation is done now i'm supposed to perform rr rotation rr rotation means turning this whole thing in the anti clockwise direction so how did you perform rr rotation on these kind of trees we remember that when we performed rr rotation for this tree 4 will come onto the top, 3 comes onto the left side, 
and 5 comes on to the right side. So even R R rotation is done. Now check the balance factor. The balance factor for all these three is zero, which means that now the given tree is balanced. Okay, so we are done with R L rotation. Now let us see how to do L R rotation. So we got another example over here. Let me write the balance factor. The balance factor for four is zero. For three it is zero. On the left hand side, right side one. So minus one is the balance factor. For five it is two on the left side. and nothing on the right side so plus 2 plus 2 is the balance factor now time to check which type of rotation will come so you can see here this is coming on to the left side and this is going on to the right side see in the previous example how did we go it was first going on to the right side and then it was going on to the left side so we went with rl rotation now in this one first we are coming on to the left side then right side so we'll do lr rotation for this and in l r rotation first we are supposed to do r r and then we are supposed to do l l rotation and we know that r r rotation means anti clockwise and l l rotation means clockwise so time to do these rotations so first i'll take this whole thing and i'm going to turn it in my anti clockwise direction okay so when i turn that into anti clockwise direction Four will directly get attached to five, and three goes down. Okay, so I've turned that whole thing in anti-clockwise direction. Four directly gets attached to five. Three, as it is, comes down. So R R rotation is done. Now I have to do L L rotation for this. So for L L rotation, I have to turn this whole thing in clockwise direction. Now when I do that, again my four gets pulled up, and three will be coming here. and 5 will be coming here so if you guys are clear with the ll and r r rotation you will be automatically clear with the r n and l r rotation now if i find the balance factor for this it is 0 0 and 0 so it is hence balanced so these were the different types of rotations that we can see in avl trees so that's all for this video we have seen the different types of rotations in avl trees In our upcoming videos, we'll see how to insert the elements and how to delete the elements from these avial trees. So, thank you for watching, and meet you in my next video.